Hey everybody, my name is Bjorn Alpass from WPLearningLab.com. Welcome to video six of the WordPress installation series. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find the latest WordPress files, how to download them, and then how to upload them to your site to be installed. The first step is going to WordPress.org. Not to be confused with WordPress.com. On WordPress.com, you can create your WordPress site and it's hosted on the WordPress servers. Whereas on WordPress.org, you download the files and you host them on your own server. And it also gives you more flexibility to customize things if you install the WordPress files on your own server versus using the WordPress.com servers. So as a quick recap, you want to go to WordPress.org to download the installation files. Once you're there, you'll see a page similar to this. And all you want to do is click on one of the blue download buttons. That will take you to the download page. Click on the blue download button right here. And depending on your browser, it'll be downloaded to somewhere on your computer. And I'm using Firefox. There's this handy blue down arrow that you can click on. So here's the download. There's a little magnifying glass. If I click on that, it shows me where the file is on my computer. And it is in the downloads folder. Here it is. So now that we have the zip file on our hard drive, we then want to go log into our hosting account so that we can upload the files to the server. For this example, I'm in my HostGator account or one of my HostGator accounts. And it also runs on cPanel. And so whatever hosting, ser whatever hosting service you're using, if they have cPanel, it will look very similar to this and it will function in a similar way. So you have to scroll down to where it says File Manager. And I usually open it to the web root. Click on this little radio button here for web root. Click on Go. And it shows all the files that are currently in your hosting account. So I'm going to scroll down. I made a test site called WPPHD. And I will upload the files to there to be installed. So double click on the folder. If you created an add-on domain, it will automatically have created a folder with the name that you chose during the add-on domain process. So you just look for that folder, double click on it to open it. You either see a directory is empty or you may see a CGI-bin folder. Uh, you may see FTP limits files. Uh, you may see 404 pages and 502 pages. You really don't need any of them. You can actually delete everything that's within that folder and then just upload the WordPress files. So all we have to do to upload is click on the upload button. Click on browse. Find the file that we uploaded or that we just downloaded, sorry, from wordpress.org. And that file is right here. Downloaded today, 3.55 p.m. Click on open. And in the bottom right-hand corner, in my hosting account, in the HostGator account, it shows uh, status for, the, for it upload status. And it only takes a few moments depending on your internet connection, but it's a pretty small file, so it should go pretty quick. When that's all done, you can click on the X to close that. Click on reload in your file manager, and there's the new file, or there's the zip file with all the WordPress files. If you click on that, and then click extract, you can extract all the files. You can pick a directory, usually it defaults to the directory you're in, which is what we want. Click on extract files, it gives you a list of everything extracted. You can click on close, hit reload again, and it puts them into a WordPress folder, like so. What I usually do, if you leave them in this folder, what's going to happen is when you go to your domain name or your website, you will have to enter a forward slash WordPress before you actually see all the site files. And that's not, we want, not what we want. We want to have it so when you go to your website.com, 
that your site shows up right there, not in a subfolder. So we're going to have to move all these files out. Just select them all. Click on the Move File button. Delete the WordPress extension there. So it's in the root of your add-on domain folder. Click on Move Files and click one or up one level and all the files are now here and we can delete the zip file we can delete that wordpress folder which we're not going to use anymore and all the files are uploaded ready for you to create a database so in this video i showed you how to download files from wordpress.org and i showed you how to upload them to your server i hope this information served you Again, my name is Bjorn Alpass from WPLearningLab.com, and I will see you in the next video where we talk about how to create your MySQL database and install WordPress. I'll see you there.